On the Texas coast, SpaceX's Starship stood ready for its Pivotal Flight 10, a mission that had been in the making for years. Engineers, scientists, and space enthusiasts around the globe had their eyes glued to the screens, eagerly anticipating the moment when humanity would take another giant leap towards the moon. This mission was not just another test flight, it was a crucial step in shaping humanity's return to the moon, a stepping stone for future Mars missions, and a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The world watched with bated breath as the countdown clock ticked closer to zero. The tension was palpable, the excitement electric, but then suddenly, the intercom crackled to life with the words no one wanted to hear, hold hold hold. The launch was scrubbed, and the collective sigh of disappointment was almost audible. 33 Raptor engines, each a marvel of engineering, fell silent. It was a stark reminder of rocketry's unforgiving nature where even the smallest anomaly can halt a mission. The cause of the scrub? Uncertainty. Was it an issue with the Starship itself, the Super Heavy Booster or something else entirely? The silence in the control room was deafening as engineers pored over data trying to pinpoint the problem. For SpaceX and NASA, this vehicle represents more than just a rocket. It embodies the dream of interplanetary life. Every delay, every scrub is a reminder of the immense complexity involved in making that dream a reality. Scrubs are not failures, they're necessary pauses, prioritizing safety over spectacle. Each scrub is a testament to the rigorous safety protocols in place, ensuring that when the rocket does launch, it does so with the highest chance of success. Each decision to scrub is a deliberate choice, a calculated move to ensure that the next attempt has the best possible chance of success. It's a reminder that in space exploration, patience and precision are key. The Flight 10 abort, while undoubtedly frustrating for all involved, was a prudent move. It protected not just the mission but the future it represents, a future where humanity reaches beyond Earth, exploring new worlds and expanding our horizons. In rocketry, the ground support systems, Stage 0, are as vital as the rocket itself. The Flight 10 investigation revealed the rocket was healthy, the problem was a leak in the quick disconnect umbilical arm, which feeds liquid oxygen to Starship. This groundside flaw, not a vehicle defect, triggered the scrub. For engineers, this was a relief fixing ground equipment is far simpler than overhauling flight hardware. The core Starship design remained unchallenged. The focus shifted to refining the launch pad, not the rocket. Every scrub is a chance to strengthen stage zero, making future launches more reliable. SpaceX's rapid iteration philosophy applies to both rockets and launch pads. Each delay is data, fuel for progress. The impact of a Starship delay ripples far beyond SpaceX. Every time a launch is postponed, the consequences are felt across the entire space industry, but nowhere more acutely than at NASA. The stakes are enormous, and the tension in mission control is palpable. For NASA, each Starship milestone is not just a technical achievement, it's a critical step toward a new era of lunar exploration. At NASA, Starship is the linchpin for Artemis, the program to return Americans to the moon. Artemis represents not just a return, but a bold leap forward, aiming to establish a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface. The entire mission architecture is built around the assumption that Starship will deliver astronauts safely to and from the moon. Billions have been invested in Starship as the human landing system, and NASA's new model relies on commercial partners to deliver. This partnership marks a dramatic shift from the agency's past, where NASA designed and built everything in-house. Now the success of Artemis, and America's leadership in space, depends on SpaceX's ability to innovate and deliver on time. With budget cuts looming, Starship's promise of reusability is more crucial than ever. NASA faces increasing pressure to do more with less, and the hope is that Starship's revolutionary design will make lunar missions more affordable and frequent. Every successful test brings the dream of routine moon landings closer to reality. Each test flight is a critical milestone, every scrub adds pressure to meet aggressive timelines. Delays can cascade, threatening not just Artemis schedules but also international partnerships and public support. The world is watching, and every setback is a reminder of the immense challenge ahead. Artemis III's lunar landing depends on Starship's success. If Starship falters, the entire mission could be pushed back, delaying humanity's return to the moon for years. The hopes of a new generation of explorers rest on this single vehicle. NASA needs to see progress, orbital flights, engine relights, safe re-entries. Each technical hurdle cleared is a step closer to the moon, 
the agency is tracking every test, every data point, knowing that the future of lunar exploration hangs in the balance. The silence of a scrub is a reminder of how much is at stake. In those quiet moments, the weight of expectation is almost overwhelming. Teams regroup, analyze, and prepare to try again, knowing that the world is waiting for the next attempt. For NASA, Starship's roar is the sound of the future. It's the promise of new discoveries, of astronauts walking on the moon once more, and of humanity reaching farther than ever before. Flight 10 was designed as a gauntlet of essential tests, not just a simple launch. The mission aimed to stress test the heat shield, pushing Starship through a punishing re-entry to prove its reusability. A key goal, relighting a Raptor engine in space, a must for future lunar landings. Attitude control was also on the list, vital for future orbital refueling and precision maneuvers in orbit. The mission would have tested Starlink satellite deployment, simulating future cargo deliveries to orbit. Each objective is a pillar for Artemis and Mars ambitions. The scrub delays validation of these critical systems, pushing back the timeline for deep space readiness. NASA's partnership with SpaceX is driven by necessity and innovation. Traditional single-use rockets are too costly for sustained exploration. Starship's full reusability promises to slash launch costs, making lunar bases and Mars missions feasible. Without Starship's efficiencies, NASA's long-term plans would stall indefinitely. The agency's future hinges on this new economic model. Every test flight is scrutinized, not just for technical success, but for proof that affordable space access is possible. Delays like Flight 10's scrub are more than technical setbacks. They test the viability of NASA's entire strategy. Starship must succeed both technically and economically for America's space ambitions to survive. The recent Starship launch scrub happened almost in parallel with a delay for Blue Origin's New Shepard, sparking headlines and social media chatter about a supposed rivalry. But this comparison, while tempting, really misses the bigger picture. These two rockets, and the companies behind them, are playing entirely different games with vastly different stakes. New Shepard is designed as a suborbital vehicle, primarily for space tourism, offering a few minutes of weightlessness and a spectacular view of Earth's curvature. In contrast, Starship is being built as a fully reusable interplanetary transport system intended to carry humans and cargo not just to low Earth orbit, but to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. While Blue Origin's New Shepard gives its passengers a brief taste of space, just a few minutes of microgravity before returning to Earth, Starship's ambitions are on a completely different scale. Its goal is to create a sustainable highway for humanity, enabling long-duration missions, lunar landings, and even the first human settlements on Mars. The difference in scale, capability, and ambition between these two vehicles is almost hard to overstate. Starship towers over New Shepard, both physically and in terms of what it hopes to achieve for the future of space exploration. Starship faces challenges that are orders of magnitude greater, achieving orbital flight, surviving the intense heat of re-entry and pioneering in-space refueling, all while carrying massive payloads. These are hurdles that must be overcome to make interplanetary travel a reality. When New Shepard is delayed it means a handful of tourists have to wait a little longer for their adventure, but when Starship is delayed, it's not just a schedule slip, it's a pause in humanity's quest to return to the moon, to reach Mars, and to become a truly spacefaring civilization. Right now, Starship is the only launch system in active development with the potential to open up the entire solar system to human exploration and settlement. Its success could redefine what's possible for our species. The real race for Starship isn't against Blue Origin or any other company. It's a race against the immense technical, physical, and financial challenges of space itself. A race to push the boundaries of what humanity can achieve. Every scrub, every delay, every setback is not a failure, but a necessary step in a much larger journey, one that will ultimately determine our place in the cosmos. The stakes are nothing less than the future of humanity beyond Earth, a future that will be shaped by the boldness of our ambitions and the perseverance to see them through. The path to the stars is built on setbacks, iteration, and relentless learning. The Flight 10 scrub was not a failure, but a vital checkpoint. Systems worked as designed, catching issues before disaster. Each test, each delay, yields data that drives rapid improvement. SpaceX's philosophy build, fly, learn, repeat. Every fix on the pad, in the air, or after a scrub brings Starship closer to carrying humans to the moon. The journey is slow, methodical, and essential for safety. Starship's story is one of ambition, resilience, and the drive to explore. 
The future of space travel is being built today, one test at a time.